Okay, Sarah, so I imagine if I took seven years from playing golf and managed to do this in an hour, I'd be pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, the right hand side is where you were, Paul. These first ones, we had a few too many where the club was going upwards and the ball was rolling this kind of way. And main reason for that was concept wise, we were thinking that clubs needed to go upwards to make contact somewhere low on the ball and get that ball to fly up. So, I would say you did a pretty good job of achieving your objective. Okay, in terms of that club is going upwards, and that's why we get the contact slightly low on the face. Yeah. Okay, now, I talked about a couple of things. Let's sit with this drill first. Number one, tidied up the grip a little bit. That was pretty easy for you. It was just both of these V shapes going towards your. Uh, right shoulder. Okay, to help with your uh, weight transfer, all we did is just got both of those feet turned out a little bit as well to help with your turn. And all we felt was that your left shoulder probably went more downwards instead of across in your backswing. So, top of your backswing there, arms can stay a little bit straighter and weight stays a little bit more feeling like it's over this side I would imagine. Now turn wise you turn similar amounts of anything more on the left hand side even though the arms have stayed straighter. So that's all going to make it a little bit easier. Concept wise now you're thinking that we can, here's not a bad thing, so everything starts to move towards your left as a result, when we had those, I don't know, chalk lines on the ground, we're making better contact with the ground, and the arms can stay straight. Now, before with your before with your weight going back onto this foot, contact would be a little bit behind the ball. So, using your brain, you bent your arms quite a lot to try and avoid too much mm. contact behind the ball. Okay, that's great. Last thing before we see the outside one is we just talked about this here and feeling more of that PGA Tour logo uh, just to make sure we don't get too much of that downwards part with the ground. Okay, so good, good. <laughs> there goes the chalk. That club there is obviously moving downwards going pretty high and that end position is beautiful very very good so everything there if you imagine all these different joints in your ankle there is more extended your knee is more extended hips are more pointing upwards imagining I don't know throwing a bag really hard or a ball but that is great so a recap is both feet are out hands are a little bit further forward this way your weight is a bit more onto your left foot. Feeling that the arms are straight, but mostly because the left shoulder's not going this way as much. And then smashing it, basically. I don't know, we need to zoom in and see. Because <laughs> this one there was a big smile. Let's see if it's visible. There we go. <laughs> very, very good. So that is great. Practice-wise, there's everything inside, but very, very good. Very, very good. And in terms of amount of speed, we've got a general idea of how to move the club. And a competitive person. It was a good mix. Very, very good.